So, I mentioned the Boy Scouts in a video, and one of you guys hit me up like, hey, yeah, talk about this. So, <laughs> I can't help but feel like that's where the correlation really links up and meets. But this is coming to us from ABC6. Boy Scouts of America files for bankruptcy due to sex abuse lawsuits. Oh, boy. And uh, here we go. Oh, she fine. Breaking news, Boy Scouts of America has filed for bankruptcy overnight. The organization battles a barrage of sex abuse lawsuits in several states, including New York and New Jersey. Eyewitness News reporter Candace McCown is outside the Boy Scouts building in mornings. And here's the fun part when it comes to the Boy Scouts. When I was a kid, right? Oh my goodness, you're breaking that up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> when I was a kid, right? It was like, it, there was a thing called Scouts Honor where, hey, if you were in the Boy Scouts, there was certain attributes that you were being specifically uh given which would you know like up your profile qu quite a bit me personally i just couldn't get i couldn't get into anything that took place on sundays like there were like on weekends because uh church so <laughs> so i never became a boy scout but i knew uh friends who were and you know tying knots and 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 learning how to operate in the land and the like these were uh, a big part of it and it, but at the same time, it creates a level of vulnerability for the kids. It creates an insane level of, of vulnerability to, to, for the kids. And unfortunately, there will always be those who look to, you know, uh, take advantage of those who are, you know, naive, gullible or susceptible to being taken advantage to the big taken advantage of Jesus. Let's keep going. Heights. Good morning, Candace. Ken Lane, good morning. The Boy Scouts are trying to keep their head above water as they not only face declining membership, but as you mentioned, hundreds of lawsuits from accusers. A Boy Scout of America filing for bankruptcy protection. There are lawyers who are seeking settlements on behalf of thousands of men who say they were sexually abused by scoutmasters and other leaders. Hundreds of additional accusers, they've come forward in recent months after states like New York and New Jersey have passed laws allowing for sex abuse victims from decades ago to take legal action against the scouts for now the bank i mean isn't that but that, that's for the scouts that's for like the churches that's for basically hey if you ever feel like you've been touched inappropriately by somebody you can go after them and the floodgates have been opened my god my god uh and and that's the thing <laughs> what's real what's not real this like this is just the courts, uh, uh, my, my, my heart goes out to the courts because they are now flooded with a whole bunch of new um, individual cases that they're going to have to litigate going off of, you know, we're talking about decades of memory, decades of like, you know, uh, uh, situations and just awful sit on awful circumstances of young people being taken of young men being taken advantage of yet you know females being, oh my goodness oh women get sexually bruh like nah man nah nah the the when it comes to abuse when it comes to being awful it's there really is no limit the vulnerable is the vulnerable and unfortunately i like who can say what percentage what's per, what percentage of these are real what's percentage what percentage of these are you know fabricated it, 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 it is deep this is a real real deep situation that's going on here and you know i thought they changed i thought they rebranded to scouts after they started letting girls in and she also mentioned the declining membership which you know like <laughs> Like what parent in their right mind would just send their child off with strangers like that. But I think initially, like initially it started off um, with all the best intentions and it was something that like, you know, it was a community type deal, a community thing. And as communities grow and, you know, more and weirder people come through, it's just, it just leaves too much space. That's why it's always important for the parent, for the two people to, that made that individual 
to be comfortable um to to have a relationship with that individual where they're co- where where they know they have a place to go and talk and talk to cuz cuz I'm telling you ultimately it always does fall back on the parents on on the people that made the individual who has found themselves in this vulnerable position and what and where they put that child what they put that child into let's keep going Put those lawsuits on hold. The or- question is, is what this will mean for the organization who might have already like campgrounds for a victim's compensation fund, which the filing says could be as high as a billion dollars. The other question is how this will impact local councils that are sometimes sponsored by churches and civic organizations. Now, in an open letter from Boy Scout President Roger Mosby, he said that while we know nothing can undo the tragic abuse that victims suffered, we believe the Chapter 11 process with the proposed trust structure will provide equity compensation to all of the victims and while this could again allow compensation for those victims you have some who say that this will not allow those victims to have their day in court and hold the scouts accountable i mean but how accountable can um hey college admissions guy how accountable can the organization be for the individual's actions though and it's actually it's pretty good seeing my man uh <laughs> seeing my man still getting work right here in the snickers commercial but either way it's like how much um you know i i it, it, the the people who touch these people are just they're they're the worst they're they're predators they are animals that really need to be brought to justice and i believe that that maybe if you go at these people via a via civic yeah, like you know what I'm saying sue them just like like sue the person as well like but the when it comes to the organization in and of itself like at, at what point do you let the that that individual you know what I'm saying like taint the entire thing but that's ugh, man oh man they said they had some church ones in there um there's some churches and uh other like you know community type organizations that you know that rock with the brand but i, I guess we'll see we'll, we'll see how this plays out but <sighs> scouts honor used to be a thing you know <laughs> and that's why i think i think it's a part of americana that really you know represented what we would what we should have been what we should be about which is like you know hey giving our young people the tools that they'll need to hey if the entire internet goes out right now you know that's what the scouts was for so you would know what to do with life if the internet went out but unfortunately like you know just it grew as an organization you you, you, you let in a ton of people bad ones flow in as well is there anything in this article and by the way the um chick that was doing the reporting yeah yeah she strokes bro strokes so um the national organization of the bsa follow filed for chapter 11 bankruptcy in order to equitably compensate victims who were harmed during their time in scouting and ensure scouting's future scouting continues and local councils have not filed for bankruptcy so i mean apparently so they'll keep the same services up to hopefully do very thorough vetting and have a communal feel within like their own little local chapters but the whole national thing is even but that's the thing even at the local level shoot well, would you be surprised that they were if, if um victims started going after local chapters so it man this is a this is a bit of a tragic situation just from my position and and that's as someone who grew up with the scouts meaning a very specific thing when it came to masculinity i mean now they're letting in chicks so i mean it's 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 not the same thing it, it, it's definitely not the same thing and i've watched this just happen um several times over the course of my life you know things that you think oh man that's never going anywhere <laughs> lo and behold life shall always teach you differently huh i'm sad it really is you feel bad for the kids. You feel bad for everybody in the circumstance. Can we get back on chocolate right quick? I don't think so. Either ways, guys, I think I think we're done on this video. Um, all the internet stuff. If you liked it, toss a like, dislike, go ahead, do that too. Nobody's scared of you. Sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice and you want to get videos like this every single day. Share because sharing is caring. And YouTube and bitch you and like aren't the biggest fans of you boy over here for very obvious reasons. I mean, do I really need to explain why? And speak. Let me know what do you guys think in the comments. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, the Boy Scouts like I said several times throughout the video, they represented masculinity. They represented the best parts of masculinity. You know, how we got 
to where we all live, particularly here in the West, all live relatively comfortable lives. Um, the, the, the type of hard work that went into really building society, you know, and to watch it go down in flames like this, it, it breaks my heart. I mean, just the, the, like the, the concept to watch to watch it, uh, that with the combination of all the other things that have been taking place. Right. Because I know there's a lot of people, particularly black people, who will be like, oh, my goodness. Well, that's for white boys. I'm like, the guy, the kids I knew that was in it was black. Like, stop. Cut it out. Like, this issue is one of the ways that we got rid of all the racism that you guys swears around every corner. Like, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. But you may feel differently. You might be like, good. Oh, man, those honkies, ah, oh, get rid of them. Like, yo, no, that's not my thing, but it might be yours. And if you feel that way, that's what I have a comment section for. By all means, go nuts. Until the next one.